Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever video on this channel. My name is Abdul and I'm an accuracy checking pharmacy technician. This is a bit of a multi-topic video as in this video we'll be discussing why I decided to join the pharmacy sector in the first place along with a little introduction to my channel and what kind of topics my videos will explore. So let's dive right in. Uh, the first reason why I decided to join the pharmacy sector is because I've always had an interest in the healthcare sector. Since I was a child, I have always, always had an interest in the healthcare sector. Just like every other Asian, I also fantasized about becoming a doctor as a child, as you do. The lifelong goal was to become a doctor and perhaps to an extent it still is, but more on that in the future videos. Pharmacy was never really in my thoughts, so I had so sort of focused all of my mental faculties on becoming a doctor all through our secondary school. I was always a studious kid who stayed out of trouble. To try and make my CV look more interesting in the medical application process, I had done work experience in multiple places. And whilst trying to make my CV look more interesting, I landed myself work experience in my local Boots Pharmacy, and it was a brilliant experience thoroughly enjoyed it in fact i enjoyed it so much i came back for more and ended up spending my entire summer holidays at the boots branch now pharmacy had become a real option for me and the more i worked the more interest i developed once i finished my summer placement by this point i had gathered so much interest i decided to pursue a career in the pharmacy sector after finishing school in my future videos, we'll dive into details about my journey, we'll explain exactly how I got into an official role etc. So keep an eye out for those. But moving on, the second reason why I decided to join the pharmacy sector is because in my humble opinion, it's one of the easiest paths into the healthcare sector. I mean, as I mentioned previously, I'd always maintained an interest in the healthcare sector. And the pharmacy sector is definitely one of the easiest pathways into mainstream healthcare where you can actually be directly involved in the care of patients. Many would argue that becoming something like a GP surgery receptionist is also one of the easiest paths into the healthcare system. And although it is a brilliant career and GP surgery receptionists are highly appreciated by me at least, it's not as involving in the direct care for patient as the role of a pharmacy professional is. Hence, if you would like to be involved in the direct care of a patient and appreciate the satisfaction you gain from being involved in the direct care of patients, you should definitely look to come into the pharmacy sector. In my future videos, we'll definitely explore how you can get involved in the pharmacy sector. So the third reason why I decided to join the pharmacy sector is because of the satisfaction I gained from working in the pharmacy sector. As I mentioned, I did work experience in a lot of places to try and make my CV stand out in the med school selection process. Nothing gave me the satisfaction I gained from working in the pharmacy sector. Nothing compares to seeing the smile on the faces of an elderly couple whose medication you sorted out or the smile on a mother's face because you were able to bring some relief to her crying baby who's been in pain. It's extremely difficult to explain this, you have to experience this for yourself to be able to relate, but it is a brilliant, brilliant feeling. The fourth reason why I chose the pharmacy sector is because I feel people in the pharmacy industry are very well rounded. There are a lot of subordinate healthcare staff out there who are absolutely brilliant at their jobs. Um, for example, we can look at healthcare assistants, dental nurses, optical assistants, etc. etc. They know a lot about the fields, but their knowledge is rather niche. In comparison, if you take a bank average pharmacy guy, aka me, they'd be able to guide you on various problems. Let's say you have a problem with your eyes or you have an earache, a headache, athlete's fault, constipation, diarrhea, toothache, a rash, fever, blocked nose, sprains and strains, etc, etc. You get the idea. Your local pharmacy professionals can guide you on these and much more. Even if the subordinate staff in a pharmacy aren't able to deal with your query, they'll appropriately refer you over to the pharmacist who will definitely be able to advise you further. The fifth and final reason why I decided to join the pharmacy sector is because of the finances on offer in the pharmacy sector. I won't say here and pretend to be a saint because obviously we all have to earn and the money on offer in the pharmacy sector did play a part in me choosing it along with all the morally and ethically correct reasons. Compared to your average jobs, the pharmacy sector is reasonably well paid and I do have a feature video coming up on what sort of salaries you can expect as a person of the industry in the pharmacy sector. So keep an eye out for that. Now let's move on to the second part of this video where we'll be exploring the themes of my channel. The videos on this channel will explore my interests and my interests include, well, pharmacy, obviously, technology, men's style, fitness, 
happiness and fulfillment, sports, personal development, books, finance, investing, business, study and education. I do also have a passion for cars and real estate, but unfortunately I don't drive yet. Neither do I have multiple real estate investments. But as I start to venture down those paths, expect some content on this channel in regards to these as well. Essentially this channel is to explore my personal interests and share them with you. So as my journey on planet earth expands and my interests grow, expect them all to be featured in some capacity on this channel. But for now, these are the topics I plan on featuring on this channel. If you are interested in any of the topics mentioned, please consider subscribing to become a part of the journey. With that said, I'd like to bring this video to a close. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable time with me. I'd be immensely grateful if you could drop a like on the video and share it with others who could benefit from it. If you have any queries, any questions or anything you would like to see from me, drop them in the comments below and I sure will get back to you. Or you can hit me up on my socials, links in the description box below. Even if you don't have any ideas or questions, just come and say hi. You'll be greatly appreciated as it's always cool to chat to interesting new people. Please look after yourself, stay safe and I shall see you very soon with another video. Take care.